Why, hello. Before you buy a leasehold property like this, there's six things that you need to know so you don't lose any money. You know? How many years are left on the lease? If it's less than 80 years, nobody's going to give you a mortgage. Therefore, you are going to need cash to buy. For whatever reason, you need to extend the lease. Find out how much that lease extension is going to cost you by asking the seller. And if you are going to buy in cash, when you do extend the lease, are you going to make profit because you are going to increase the value of that property? check your comparables third one is service charge this is basically a fee that you pay for any work that needs to be undertaken on the exterior part of the building e.g the roof the drainage all that stuff and if you have an elevator you need to contribute towards that Four, the ground rent this is a fee that you pay the freeholder for renting the land which your property is built on now check this out this can actually vary over the period of time so make sure you find out if it's just that fixed price or if it's more we're spanning in the works this marriage value as well if the years on your lease decrease below 80 years and you choose to extend that lease by putting some money in and you increase the value then you would need to split the profit of the value increase with your freeholder make sure your numbers stack up when it comes to this if you're choosing to sell and let's be honest the ultimate goal is ownership so find out from your freeholder if you have the opportunity to buy that freehold in the future Say this and share this with someone who you think might benefit. If you need me, reach out.